my name is Abson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for GenandHere.com and in this video I will be dissecting a container in .NET Nook and what do I mean by dissecting? I'll be going over the details behind uh, the elements that, uh, that build up a container. I have this uh, test site, I have created this page called containers page and I have added HTML mod to this page. I'm logging uh, as admin or host to the backend and I have applied to each container of those, I have applied one of the default, one of the standard um, containers that comes with .NET Nook. So I have applied the, the title blue to the first one, the title gray to the second one, the title red to the third one. And again, I'm logged in as host. Uh, if you want to have a look at this, how, how it looks like in a, as a regular user, I have opened uh, Internet Explorer as well. And here is how it looks like a, a regular user is looking at it. Now I'll be focusing my, my conversation on the first one, which is title blue. Let's have a look which, which physical skin is being used for this module. We can do that by going to the action menu and it will show up, so we go to settings, then under settings, let's scroll down, click page settings, and then we see here that it's been, uh, the container being used here is called uh, title blue, and it's inside minimal xtropy, which again is the default skin that comes with .NET Nook Community Edition. And we can also see that this is, this container is installed in a, in a host level. So, what I want to do now is I want to go to the file system uh, and we can do that via FTP if your site is remote or in my case this is a local site so I can go to to uh, Windows Explorer. Now one quick note, this, this video is not uh, a very basic video, it's more geared towards someone that knows HTML, that has some design knowledge and wants to get to know a little bit more in depth about containers. So again, this is not uh, very basic. Just a warning. Anyway, I'm gonna open uh, Windows Explorer and I'm gonna go to the root of my site, then I'm gonna go to portals and because this is a host level container, I know that this is inside, this is located inside the default folder and we have the containers folder and again as it says here it's inside the minimal xtropy package so I will go and find the minimal xtropy folder I open it and here we have the three containers that are that comes with OF.NET Nook and they are the title red, title gray and title blue now let's open title blue and um, go through the elements that that uh, co the container is builder. For that, I'm gonna focus my efforts in the ASCX file, not the HM. Again, I'm not gonna talk about this file uh, at this point in time, but let's focus our efforts on the ASCX. So I'm gonna open that now. Here's the ASCX uh, title blue opened. And I have uh, syntax highlighted here so you can have a better look at this file. So I have chosen the default um, .NET Nook uh, containers just because they make, a use, they make use of, of various uh, interesting uh, container objects. So I want to, again, let's go through the elements that, that compose this, this container. First of all, you will notice that there are a couple of uh, controls registered at the top of the file. So those are the controls uh, being used inside the container. Now let's talk a little bit about those objects uh, that, that uh, are part of this container. The first one that I see here is the actions. Let's, let's wrap the HTML here. So this container object is the one that when you are in edit in edit mode and let me go back to the container page that I have created so this actions uh, object is the one that 
allows allow us to move the mouse over to the uh, action menu. So this one is the one that uh, creates this uh, downward triangle that we can access uh, the the settings for the modules. Just to to prove it, I'm gonna quickly delete from here. And I'm going to save this. And if I refresh, we will no longer see the action menu in the, in the first uh, module. As you can see, there's no action menu there anymore. Let's go back there. Put the object back again. Save. And if we refresh, it will be back there. So now it's back. So again, this uh, action is the one that uh, that uh, will allow us to see the action menu. Now we have a couple more here. We have the DNN icon. The icon one is the one that will allow us to add an icon to a, a module. So let's go back here and let, let's have a look at the action menu. Let's go to the settings. Let's select an icon for this one, for this module. So here in the module settings, we go to uh, page settings icon let's select a system image and let's select anything here just for an example let's click update so as you can see there's an icon now uh, at the close to the title of the container if we go back there so again the responsible the the object the container object that is responsible for that is the DNN icon now we also have the Title, the title of the of the of the module. Again, this object is the one that shows the title set in the settings as well. If we go to the settings, we can put the module title. So this object is the one that shows the title. So if you keep going, we also see the the command, the action button. And it's a print action, and this is uh, responsible for the print icon on the uh, right side of the container. And right beside it, we have the minimize maximize, which is uh, available by the visibility object. And at the button, we have three more um, action buttons. As you can see here, we have three tags, and those three tags are responsible for, for showing the edit option at the button and the settings option as well. And it has another one that is syndicate module. In case uh, we have configured this module to be syndicated, this will also show a syndicated icon. Now, one very important element that all containers must have is, the, is uh, an element with the ID called content pane run at server and this can be set to a, to a div to a td in a table to a span tag to a paragraph as well and this is the 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 area that the content of that uh, module will be placed inside now if you want more information about containers and skins you can also go to uh, thinkofdesign.com it's a site maintained by uh, Vasilis Terzopoulos Sorry if I'm bastardizing your name, uh, but it's a very good reference, and I'll put the, the link to the site in the video post. Um, here in the site, you can have a look at all the container objects. You can see a very good reference, a very detailed reference. Vasilis, if I may give uh, my two cents in your site, I would also include the controls that must be registered um, for for skins and, and uh, containers objects, okay. But again, very very good site. You should definitely use this as a reference if you are building uh, a skin or a container for the first time. Again, this was a quick overview of the basics on understanding the the elements that uh, that are that are required to build a container.